Yeah. So I, th- I think guys- most people understand what flow back and well testing is, but for those who don't, those who haven't, don't have any field experience really quickly, high level, how would you explain what those are? Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Dive into what well back or what well testing and flow back is so that we can sure. get some context for those guys. Yeah, I don't want to take the the whole show talking about that because there's so many different permutations <laughs> of it and the equipment spreads are all different. But, you know, at a high level, you know, think about sort of from the uh, the days of the drill out piece, you know, where uh, there's a lot of pressure control involved and making sure no debris like plug parts are going into your your um, separator equipment. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's a early part of when flow back and well test gets involved. That's sort of maybe the less sexy end of the business equipment gets beat to hell. Um, you know, the training levels with operators are maybe not quite as high on down the road through, um, well testing, which is more <clears throat> kind of like an early, um, uh, production facility. Uh, it's kind of like a, a temporary production facility where you're using, uh, these pressure vessels, uh, like the separator, fairly equipment, uh, expensive equipment and better trained personnel to, replicate uh you know what is going to happen to that well as it's later in this in the production phase mm-hmm. uh understanding the flow regimes you know what kind of well you've you've got on your hands still separating out a lot of debris uh, yeah and separating out sort of the the water oil gas and so on but you're learning a lot about the well as you're doing so it. there's really you know two parts to this as you mentioned the first part you know if anyone doesn't know when you go frack a well you know you have I don't know how many stages, you know, just say 50 Mm -hmm. composite plugs down in the hole. They have to go drill those out. You're flowing it back. You know, you're getting all of that equipment up out of, of the well, making Mm -hmm. sure that the well bore's clean. Mm -hmm. And then when you go over to the well testing, you guys actually are seeing a lot of opportunity to get more insight to to, to the reservoir and what's actually going to happen with that well. That's right. And there's a a lot of stages in between, right? A lot of different types of equipment deployed to do that, but that's kind of the bookends. Yeah. And I would definitely say... You know, I think you agree, Daryl. The the well test side is where you get, uh, you know, better information about the well, higher spec equipment, better trained operators, um, and and to us, there's a lot of value being left on the table in the way that's been done historically, um, both in terms of like not having good quality data and not having the right equipment out there, but also what do you do with all that information? Mm-hmm. A lot of people are just kind of filing it away, or or they're taking readings at the wrong time. Um, you know, there's just so much error in the way it's been done historically. Um, so we're, we're changing that with the way, cool. you know, the, the kind of equipment we're deploying and then what we're doing with the data. 